Right, so I've got one of these off of, uh, where did I get it, eBay. It was eight quid. Um, they do like different ones. Like that one there is the, it's got a Type-C USB charger on it. And obviously a voltmeter, a double USB B or whatever it is, type, I don't know. Not like the normal one. Uh, but they're like the quick charge ones. They do a one amp and a 2.1 amp. And then that one, whatever that is. But I've gone for that one. I'll show you. Hang on, let me get it out of the packet. So you get in this one, uh, you get the actual charger itself. It's got like a little waterproof thing. Don't really know why you need that inside, but anyway. But it's a quick charge one and a little power button as well. And then you just throw it on the floor. Brilliant. Oh, so hard to do things one-handed. Right, yeah, there you go. So that's the charger thing. And you just literally need a positive and a negative on the back. Now, it does also come with this little wiring thing, uh, which I assume is a fuse in there. Two little uh, equipment connectors, some spade connector things, female ones, which I assume just goes on the back of that. And they're so kind, they give you two spare ones as well. But the plan is, I'm hoping it's going to fit in that little hole there. Obviously, take that one out, because I don't really use a uh, cigarette lighter. I don't smoke. Um, I haven't really got anything that plugs in in there. So the only cigarette lighter thing I have is, uh, where is it? There, that thing, which is... Uh, three usb will it zoom yes it will that's quite handy but it says it's 2.4 amp i don't think it is personally whereas this one many good reviews i've read on these so three amp charging so i'm hoping it's going to go in there so i'm going to try and get this out let's just have a quick eye up will it will it fit that hole it looks close. I'll give it a go, see what happens. Now, obviously, make sure you disconnect your battery and all that sort of stuff when you're doing your electrical madness. Uh, no idea how this comes out. I've got some of these because I'm very lacking on tools at the minute because they're all somewhere else. Oh. Try and pull this out. No, maybe this is easier to get to from behind. How do you come out? I'm trying to do this with minimal tools at hand. Makes it a lot harder. Right, that's out a little bit now. See if I can just grip it with that. Give it a, a little pull. Yes! Come on, don't break. Ready? You're stuck. I'm sure some of you are watching this thinking, what are you doing? That is not how you pull that out. But I don't know. Okay, right, cool, there we go. So we've got a connector, obviously. Just pull that off. One is a ground and one is a live, or a 12 volt. Hot if you're in America. Positive, whatever words, you know what I mean. So, I think that one's the ground, which is the centre pin. No, it's not. No, that's going to be the ground. The outer shell is the ground, and the middle is the hot 12 volt, whatever. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to take this off. I'm just trying to see if I can free up these pins. I might be able to pull these pins out of there, but retain the uh, the little 
crimp things, the little connectors on the back. That's the plan, I'll probably break something now. I usually do. Right, what I've done, rather than taking them out, I just thought I've got some um, like male ones of these spade connector things. So I've just put them on the end of this instead of those rings um, that came with it. I just jammed them in there and they're pretty solid, but I've just put a little bit of tape over them just in case. Just so they don't unexpectedly come out. Like I say, they're pretty firm in there, but better safe than sorry. So that's on. Let's feed all this. And what is this? Is this a fuse? Oh, good catch, Aaron. Yeah, a little fuse, a little glass fuse. Don't know what size it is, but fair play to the old Chinese. They've they've done well there. They've fused something. It's probably a 100 amp fuse, but never mind. Let's chuck that in there. Out of the way. This um panel, I'm not really sure why, but it is loose at the moment. Another one of those jobs that I need to do. Sort of flops around a little bit, so might make it a bit easier actually, just to get my hand behind it and oh and then I've dropped the ground down there anyway so I'm gonna have to get in there now um you push that in as well while we're here. what is that no it doesn't fit okay well I'm gonna go and get a cone cutter then and we will sink make that hole bigger and sink that in there so back in a sec right cone cutters step cutters ice cream cones whatever you want to call them this is some here not everyone's got these but they're pretty cheap pick them up anywhere really and all they do is uh, obviously get the right size all they do is open up existing holes obviously you need to drill on the end but just gonna use that to open this hole up a little bit shuck it in the drill try not to cut your finger off Aaron it's getting a bit old. Milwaukee though, he's a good one. Yeah, so just chuck it in the hole. Let it cut a little bit out. Obviously don't go too mad. It's a little bit more. Try that. No, that's quite a bit out actually. Obviously, I've checked behind here to make sure there's nothing there. Ah, oh, we're in. There you go. Right. That needs deburring and all that sort of stuff, which obviously I'm going to definitely do. And not just pull it off with my fingers. Right, and then that's going to sit in there. I'm going to have to go and find the wires. And then that's going to screw on from the other side. It's all coming together lovely. I'm going to open this little fella up to take out the uh, little posi screw there. Take that out. Oh, hello. Much easier. Uh, there you go. Nice. So I'm going to need my cables again. I'm going to slide my nut thing, plastic O-ring, lock ring, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go over the cables. Cables are going to come out there. Right, positive and negative. So negative is the black one. And red is positive. Nice. I'm going to feed that through. Find the lock nut thing, wherever it is. Where are you? There you go, can you see that? Don't know. Probably not. And then I'm just gonna start the uh, the thread lock nut thing onto the thread of the socket from behind without looking. Can't see anything. There you go, we're off. Screw that in. If you're a bit OCD like me, make sure it's straight. 
Oh no, that should be at the top. Can't can't leave that like that. Okay, that lock nut's gone really tight now. Ow. Take that off and then loosen it. There we go. Right, try again. That's better. Right, that needs to be at the top. Tight. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. Don't know if it works. Is that permanent live? Don't know. Let me go and turn the key on. We have power. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, right. Done. That is lit up. Okay, there you go. So that's a little touch capacitive thing. Just turns that on and off. So, just by luck, I've got a cable here. Plug that in. Turn it on. Well, I'm actually filming on my phone, so I'm going to have to uh, pick the phone up. I'm going to put this on charge. You obviously can't see what I'm doing now because I'm charging you. But, let's have a look. It says that we are fast charging. Nice. I mean, if I turn that off, is that just the light or is it the actual... Wait. Okay, so it just turns itself back on, weird. But anyway, I've definitely got fast charging on my phone now. So I'm gonna put all this back together, take that out, turn that off. Oh, I like it, eight quid. That is how much that was. Um, I need to just clean everything up, and by clean up, I mean push it all down the hole like that. Um, the screw. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to put it all back together now. I've lost the bloody screwdriver. I might have to put bumps out, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it all back together. Um, and I'll report back, see how good it is. Like I say, I was getting. Um, fast charging coming up on the phone it was showing that it was charging fast which is good that's what it what it says on the tin um i don't know if it's three amp i haven't got those little plug things where you can check but either way i'm happy with it i can charge my phone in the back i will be swapping it over to the leisure battery once that's all sorted that'll be an upcoming video where i'm going to swap over some circuits to run off the leisure battery so we'll have like the blinds Got some lights to go in here because these things are rubbish. Um, what else? A couple of other things that will run off the leisure battery, including that cigarette lighter, eventually. So, I can then charge my phone or whatever when we're out and about. Having our mad lunch on a beach somewhere. Powering up your phone or GoPro or whatever. Anyway, did you like the video? Give us a like down below. Comment below if you've had one of these things, wherever they are. Any um, recommendations or reviews on them, let me know. They might be absolute pants. It was £8. I'll leave a little link in the um, description below so you can cop yourself one of them if you want one. Eight quid, pretty good, I think. Um, but you will need a cone cutter if you want to um, fit one in the bongo hole. There's the old bit. That's the old cigarette lighter. No fuse or nothing in there, I don't think. Well, that might be a little fuse. I don't know, the little wire, fusible link or something. But, yeah, so you will need a cone cutter just to open it up a little bit if you're going to do this. But, yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. It's taken me about 10 minutes. Probably the length of this video. So, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe below. Give us a like, all the good stuff. Um, loads more content to come. 
on the Bongo, on the MX-5, on the 335i. I think we're doing a few bits to the Jeep Renegade as well, or the missus, if we get a chance. A few little mods. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you again.